Daz. Obviously, you're looking at LSU to prevail here. Only Epcot had Missouri s and Is there at least a chance for the Miners? You know... I, for F I say he thinks there is. You can't. You, you, I, I gave him some credit. I said they may be able to force seven, maybe to catch LSU off guard. Okay. But it really comes down to how much of that last series they've played had to do with Oregon and whether or not Oregon or maybe just sh had some difficulties there on their own in in that last series. But I'm telling you right now, LSU. I don't think they've dropped a game tonight. And they don't look they don't want to do so. I mean Brian B has been stepping up here. And I think even I may even be wrong in predicting this series to go seven. A low tech. Free reign for a shot. Time had to jump to avoid T Bates demo attempt. Now Braun B coming on, just missing wide. T Bates follow bar down and in. And it's LSU striking first. And look at that, T-Bates getting on the board. Good speed from Baron B to get to that ball. And time, had no time, as T-Bates quickly came in front and got the first goal for LSU. Less than a minute gone by, but it is LSU that gets the first shot. Now they're looking for more. T-Bates out of his own zone. Nope, not able to get to the center line. Bernie setting up time, looking to tie the game. Low Tech made the save. Paid the price for it as he's demoed on the goal line. Chance for the Miners, and Sugar just went right by the ball. So did Bernie. It is only time against Braun B. Left it in front, not out of the zone, and Low Tech cleans it up. Oh, man, Low Tech with the follow-up. And look at this, LSU already to a quick start here. Bernie with a poor touch out, and Low Tech just easy follow-up. This is very aggressive here from Louisiana State University. Just from how much resources they're putting far forward. But, I mean, they're coming away with the goals here, and they're kind of testing the defense for Missouri S&T, and they haven't really kind of lived up to the test yet. Low Tech trying to throw one across over to T-Bates. It is a different level that Missouri S&T has to reach to play with LSU. T-Bates again now looking for Low Tech. Didn't quite get it to him cleanly as Low Tech's bumped off the play, and... Bernie can just bring this to the corner, but all three s &T cars are right there in the corner. Sugar will try to break out of the zone again, but the spacing is not great from ms and yeah. Now you see Time trying to play that one up. Sugar play out. Time looking for the follow-up, and it will pinch in. Great follow-up from Sugar to bring Missouri s and on the board. Well, you got to get a little lucky if you're going to pull off this one, and Fortunately, time was able to turn around in time to get that ball back towards the net. Sugar finished it off. SNT gets one back. They are within striking distance. Coming up on the halfway point in game one. Bernie, oh, that's a great clear by T Bates. And Low Tech is already downfield. Time had to go up to meet him. And Sugar is able to clear away out of harm's way. And that's a Braun into the corner. Able to get some space out. Keep eyes on Braun B. Been having a good day today so far. Wants to kind of keep up the trend. Meanwhile, Low Tech tried to put on a quick shot. But Bernie able to get a piece of it. That's not the best touch from T. Bates. So now Missouri s &T will be able to take advantage of that and try to move downfield. But look at the transition from LSU. They turn things into their favor so quickly. And the counterattack so nice. Go Tigers. Boy, what a transition. As you mentioned, able to get right past that last defender lsu moving just a little bit faster thinking just a little bit faster than missouri snt the lead is back to two goals but bernie and time trying to get back on the attack time couldn't get to that ball a second time and that'll be t-bait so just wisely going underneath the challenge and it looks like the tigers are firmly in control but there's still two minutes left and Missouri s and are at least getting their looks at the net. LSU has been a little sloppy defensively. Oh, man. Yeah, they have. But not enough for Missouri s and to kind of capitalize on. Braun B, last man back, and it was a 2v1 situation. But he ended up buying enough time for the team to rotate out on defense. The 3-1 game right now. Missouri t s and got to do a little bit more work if they want to have any chance of getting past this LSU defense. Bernie has a lane, but he just couldn't get to the ball in time to get the final shot to the net. 
And it remains a two-goal lead for LSU, and they're looking to add to it. T Bates whipped on it. He's going to let it go for low tech. His shot, Sugar couldn't react in time, and LSU might have just put game one away. Yeah, low tech plays that one out. And, I mean, he just he ends up getting a nice follow-up. Goes for the soft touch, too, instead of just looking for that high-speed top corner shot. And Missouri S&T's defense completely thrown off by it. It's a 4-1 game in game one. Bernie debating between flip reset and trying to go for the double. He didn't get either. So now it'll be Sugar. Needs anybody to center that ball to, and nobody was there. Time was all the way across, and all Sugar could do was just slam it up to the ceiling. LSU looking for the knockout blow in game one as if they haven't dealt it already. Now Sugar quickly back the other way. Maybe a fortunate bounce, but nothing doing. It is low tech against time. Then time gets demoed. Nobody's at the net. Bernie got back just in the nick of time. But there's only 30 seconds left as LSU is looking to put away this opening game. Yeah. I like the heads up play. Bernie tried to go for a demo on Braun B. Braun B faked him and still able to get the save. And LSU are going to attempt again to move downfield. No even constellation goals. As LSU don't plan on giving up any more here in the final 15 seconds. And a statement made in game one for LSU Tigers. A dominant victory. They control the pace of gameplay and open up this best of seven with a hot start. So we wait for this one to hit the ground and LSU will be the victors in game one. LSU taking care of business in the opener the way they've taken care of business all night throughout this bracket. They have not faced many trials and tribulations to say the least. 11 shots in that opening game. They were not without fault at times, but still five saves, enough to keep Missouri s &T at bay, at least in game one. Small sample size, but it looks like it could be a short series unless the Miners can turn things around real quick. Yeah, I mean, you say real quick. We're looking up for Ben and Temple right now. And if L LSU already feel like, it feels like they've gotten like that confidence. Like, okay, we should be able to make this one a short series based on this game one performance. If Missouri s t come out with that same scoreline in game two, it will be a short series. I don't think that that is really up for debate here. Missouri s t have to strike hard here early on and really just kind of level out the playing field because at this point LSU have developed so much confidence from having complete troll control in game one on Manfield night that they're going to carry that into the future matches unless Missouri ST shows otherwise the CRL national championship presented by Thrustmaster next month you start your season hoping just to get on the floor there and Bernie's going to get the opening goal for Missouri ST just a bizarre sequence to kick things off. Yeah, I think LSU sent the whole house forward there. And Bernie had an open look, and he sends that the other way. First goal of the game going Missouri s &T, So at least, you know, they have some control here of how this opener plays out. But let's see whether or not they maintain that lead. Low tech looking for an answer. Couldn't drop underneath time. T Bates thought about turning, but he'll go all the way back for the corner boost and take over as Braun B just yielded to him and low tech shot denied. Follow up didn't have any pace behind it at all from T Bates and Missouri SNT stopped that one too. Big stop from Sugar and the Miners maintain their early lead. Yeah, yeah, now they're looking to move downfield once again, but Braun B will control it. And like we said, once Missouri s t start things off on the right foot here, they can kind of play back and let LSU play into them. It helps them at least get into the series here as they have to deal with a very aggressive LSU to start. But now, with the lead and the control of the ball, they've been able to do a lot with it. But that one almost a top corner shot. You see time reaching for it as LSU are trying to equalize very quickly. Low tech! Oh, that's a bar down and in goal. And 1-1's one, the scoreline. Boost over ball. Time thought he could get both. He got greedy, went for the boost. He didn't have time to challenge the ball. And it gets centered for Low Tech. His third goal of the series ties up game two. Okay, now everything. Bernie. Uh-oh. Top corner. What? Oh, and he sneaks it by. 
No way he finds the angle. Look at him, he has all the space. He says, no, nope, I'm taking the shot. Just over Bromby. Unbelievable execution from Missouri. They quickly regain the lead. Okay then, well how about LSU looking for another quick answer? Ron B and Low Tech screaming down the field. And then Low Tech threw it across. Low Tech could at least keep it out in front. But time goes over top of T Bates and Braun B is right there. LSU only down by one. Looking for another sweep, but they're getting a much tougher challenge this time from SNT. Sugar. Just taking his time. Nobody went for the ball. And Bernie will follow it up. Look at this. Bernie opening up here with a hat trick. A game two for Missouri S&T. Slots it right under T-Bates. And catches the chef and LSU defense lacking. So now a two goal lead for Missouri S&T. And you're seeing right here just how they were able to perform against Oregon. The play style coming out for them. They finally settled in. And... They've really are starting to take it to LSU. Sugar was trying to play that ball out gently and Braun B was all over it. Now low tech. Gives one away to Sugar in that second touch, trying to throw off teammates. No panic and good teamwork out of the LSU attack. Braun B dances around one, but Bernie's right there to follow up. And the Missouri SNT Miners holding a two goal lead. It looks like LSU after that first game, didn't feel like they had much of a threat oh. that it was facing them, but time and company are showing them that Missouri s and are absolutely here to play. They are. And you saw what they ended up doing with the T-Bates, forcing them to make a save off the ceiling. That was actually really well done from T-Bates to at least keep this within two. There's two minutes left in gameplay here, and LSU are playing from behind. Missouri s and Look at this. Look at Bernie especially. He's gotten three goals this game. Technically shooting from 100%, but only two shots recorded. But he's been doing a lot of work here for Missouri s and Same can be said for Braun B. As that one actually almost fell in the net. No follow-up from LSU. So Missouri s and will actually set this the other way for free. Well, I think after giving up that opening goal where Bernie just had a breakaway with nothing in front of him, uh, LSU has been a little hesitant to bring everybody forward. We're getting down to about the minute 40 mark. Sugar, bank shot, almost on, and time is right there. And Missouri SNT is giving it right back to LSU. Yeah, 4 1, and we still got time on the clock here. Missouri SNT showing up as that was a great cut from Sugar. Ball drops down. You can see the defense a little nervous. Someone missed a read, and time at open net. There's still time for LSU, but. Not a lot of it. It's certainly not to erase a three-goal deficit. This Bernie. You can imagine he'd take his time coming out of the corner, trying to hit time. Ron B, or rather T Bates, came up to intercept. He's got a full tank of boost. And he even took the midfield boost. Might as well. And he almost took the back boost. But Sugar's going to get his hands on that. We tick down towards the one-minute mark. And if LSU doesn't score right about now, it's going to be a tough task. But Low Tech gets him back within two. And well done there from Low Tech. T Bates able to give him a nice follow, but it's that touch, really soft touch right down in front. And defense caught off guard from the read from Low Tech. Still showing up here. He's got both the goals here for LSU, but a lot more work is going to need to be done if they want to have a chance of coming back in this game. Winner of this series goes to the CRL National Championship next month. Loser goes down to the lower bracket. We'll have one more shot at it. Sugar for time, who's got a full canister. Looking to throw one in front. He's done so almost perfectly, but Braun B got to it first. Now Bernie, what a pass over to Sugar, but his bouncing shot is blocked away by Low Tech and LSU. Now you can see they're pushing forward with a sense of urgency. T Bates to get him within one, and he has with 33 to go. Time on the clock here, and T Bates comes up with a big goal. Missed touch from Bernie and Braun B. Goes all in on the 50. T Bates is there to follow it up and pushes the top corner. LSU down by one with 33 seconds left. And we'll see what they got in them in these final few seconds. Series may be on the line here for SNT. If they blow this lead and ultimately lose this game to LSU, it's going to kill any momentum they'd hope to have. What a win by Bernie! 
Right when things were starting to look bleak, the challenge of a lifetime to find the net. Ah, uh, Low Tech hits it into him. He thought he caught Bernie out, but Bernie played the 50 well and it came up big. They weren't really in that much danger, but that insurance goal should do it for this game. But you can tell LSU, not a fan of that one. They might end up giving up another one, but it's, easy, it's easy. I think it's safe to say, <laughs> especially after that one. Missouri s and are going to come out with this game too. It looked like this was going to be a colossal blunder from s &T, the way LSU was coming back. And then those two goals. Nope, we had it all the way. Missouri s &T, 12 seconds away from tying up this series. It turned into a shootout at the end. But it's going to go 1-1 when all is said and done. And yes, Daz, we do indeed have a series on our hands in our best of seven winners final. Missouri s &T show up here and show that that offense from LSU was just them kind of filling out the series in game one. Now things are wide open as we approach game three series tie 1-1 apiece. And LSU, I think, you know, they kind of put, took their foot off the gas here in game two. And Missouri s &T punished them big time for it. Now LSU going to be frustrated, but they're going to have to get ready to shake that off and get into this next game. I expect them to come out with a lot of offensive aggression, similar to what we saw in game one, because that, that didn't necessarily happen here. It, it, most of it was just them kind of taking things easy and maybe just a bit of false confidence from that last game victory. Now, I think they know not to take Missouri s and lightly. 15 shots out of the miners in game two. A resounding statement made as they answer back to the 4 1 loss they took in game one from LSU. Now we go with a new five minutes into game three on iconic DFH Stadium. And it's low tech trying to open up the scoring. Nothing doing as time will clear it away. Uh, I mean, you got to keep eyes on LSU here. Missouri s and they got they have their game plan and they have their like win conditions pretty much just don't give LSU some space but it's about how much of that space is LSU gonna fight for and you see them already fighting for the midfield as T-Bates plays that one high low tech will get the read has a flip but won't be able to play a 50 and it'll bounce into the corner already a lot of good starts on offense from both sides so the pace of speed here definitely gonna be high as this one ensues Debates trying to go through time and he's done so. And that almost beats Sugar. He had to range back just a little bit. Debates waiting patiently on the side, picked his pocket too, but could not force that through time. Bernie up a little late. Debates redirect. Nope, he didn't make contact and time can just clear it away. Though everybody's kind of waiting around, a little stationary on the goal line. And that means it's open season for the LSU attackers. The yeah, Tigers are definitely looking for an opportunity. Low Tech pushes that one in front. And you see T-Bates immediately hop on it. Brown B plays third man, but look, he is aggressive. Looking for a bump on Bernie. Low Tech will play it out. T-Bates with the follow-up. Puts a shot on near post. But Bron Bernie will end up at least clearing it into the corner for now. As Missouri s and try to fight their way out of their own half. LSU were trying to push through them in that offensive drive. I don't think Time wanted that ball back, but it's the only play his teammate had as Sugar oh. didn't get the power clear he was looking for, but Bernie ranges across, made the initial save, another ball thrown in front, but T-Bates can't go after it. Bron B can and does. Boy, the Miners defense is all out of sorts, but Bernie had enough boost to call off his teammate and take charge. Coming out of the defensive end, and he wins that challenge, which is huge for s &T. Yeah, right now, Missouri s and on defense are being stretched here. And they haven't been able to get a lot of offense, so that's why you saw LSU almost get away with that. But Sugar said two misses too many, and he decides to punish him, scoring the first goal for Missouri. Sure. That was just awkward. Right around the halfway mark, and LSU gives up that goal. Not a good look for the Tigers, but again, they have surged late in all three games, really. They had that big comeback bid. Near the end of game two that fell short. Now T-Bates couldn't keep control here. Low Tech's got to make the jump and makes the save. Now we are exactly at the halfway mark and it's LSU surging down the field. Braun B, a little floater. Sugar gets there just ahead of Low Tech. 
and now watch the counterattack from the Miners. Sugar trying to size one up, but T-Bates has the clear. Oh, that, what a bump by Bernie, but nobody else could get onto the ball. I think the communication was lacking just a little bit, and it led to a little bit of panic. A lot of panic, yeah. I mean, now you're starting to see that even on the defense. That's a double commit, maybe an open net. Braun B, yep. He'll score that one, and LSU take advantage of some miscommunication by Missouri. Yeah, this is a perfectly placed shot, too. Just a little bouncer. So tough to read that. You got to guess he's going high or low, and by the time you realize he's going high, you got to get up in a hurry. Time could not. Braun B adds his second goal of the series, and we're all knotted up in game three. So that'll be a play out in minute 50. Is LSU able to, again, get that tying goal? An offense from them has looked a lot better here, but Missouri as a team, we're starting to show signs of weakness, right? You had that cluster in offense, and then a poor double commit there on the defensive end. Now, a little bit nervous to move up, and low tech in a 1v1, flick over time, open net, teammates will make the goal, giving LSU the lead. Yeah, this is not a situation time ever wants to be in a 1v1 with any of these players, let alone Low Tech, and T-Bates is right there on the doorstep to finish what Low Tech could not. LSU in front inside 90 seconds. Again, they've been so good late in games, but SNT came alive in the final minute to stave off that comeback bid last game. Here's, oh wow, Low Tech went right by the ball, wasn't anywhere close to it. Braun B left alone to deal with time, and time couldn't get by him. Now Braun B, oh no, Low Tech. Won't even let that one touch the ground. Saw a lot of people from Missouri hanging around that ball and just immediately decided to swat it away. Transition chance, but T-Bates back in net and holding things down for the Tigers. Meanwhile, Missouri S&T looking for a tying goal with a minute left. But at this point for them, they just have to get things on their own side under control as LSU's pretty much scored off of just Defensive and positional mistakes for Missouri S&T. Another shot chance. Braun B just barely off target. Important that Sugar got that corner boost. They were trying to steal it from him, and he had a man chasing him all around the corner. Now Bernie, all oh, beaten out by Braun B. What a huge win to keep that ball from getting in front. Now T-Bates skying one out. Low tech trying to run under it. Doesn't work out. Now S&T trying to work downfield together as a team. It wasn't pretty, but they do at least get to the back line of LSU. But they only have 12 seconds now. Bernie to the backboard. Nobody else is up, and it got through away from Low Tech. Oh, you've got to have somebody there. They didn't, and now they have no time. t just wisely lets it die right there, and LSU survives game three. Doing a good job, at least, of controlling the ball from LSU. They only let one in for Missouri s &T, and t again, a big, big factor of that game for Missouri was just a couple of mistakes on their own half that just ended up being something to punish. If you're playing against this LSU squad, rotation has to be on point, and you see why there. Now going into this next matchup for Missouri, although they can still show signs of being successful on offense, and although Sugar and Bernie have been playing a pretty good series, it's all about how they act as a unit. That's gonna be pretty big here because LSU has a chance to put this series on match point. They got all the momentum and everything working in their favor. In every game up to that point, all two of them, we had seen at least one team get a ton of looks at the opposing net. Not the case in this last game. Control was the theme for both sides as they tried to control the midfield and keep the ball out from in front of their own net. Here's a shot that's blocked away by Low Tech and already we're seeing a stark contrast between games three and four as Missouri SNT is just bombarding the Tigers net. Bernie's got a demo on Low Tech, but time had to wait a moment as T-Bates was threatening to dribble right by him. Now Sugar, can he get around on a shot? No, and he's got T-Bates tracking. This goes all the way across and Braun B with a huge demo on time. Bernie shot is wide. T-Bates has a stretch for that one. Good save from him, but hold on. Not even the first minute's gone by, and T-Bates has three saves already recorded. <laughs> That's a lot of offense for Missouri s &T. Ball in front of the net. He'll even pick up a goal in transition. LSU strike first in game four. He can do it all. 
including score on an empty net, which is actually <laughs> a trait that's quite valuable at this level because we've seen quite a few head scratchers. 1-0 to LSU as everybody had just abandoned ship defensively for SNT. Now T Bates. Stuck in his own corner. Time is there. Is he going to get around on target for a shot? No. It's, well, might have been, but low tech had to stop either way. Now time up to the ceiling. Sugar's there as well. But because they both went, oh, the Bernie's demo. in a tough spot. Oh, what a demo, as you mentioned. And Sugar's right there. Time. You see him here. But when he gets off the screen, he's going straight for low tech. See you later. Sugar with the redirect just to make sure that shot goes in from Burn. He didn't want to risk it. That was a clean chance. You say those open nets are kind of hard there, Stacks. So a little, little assistance as everyone gets involved for Missouri S&T to tie up the game. Oh, what a fortuitous oh. bounce out to time. And Braun B made a big stop to keep this game tied in the early stages. Yeah, this is not going to be one of those uh, low offense no chances, you know, everybody would like one shot a piece affairs. This is going to be a shootout. Whether the scoreboard itself reflects it or not, there will be chances like this from Low Tech. Bernie got to it, but there's teammates again. The janitor, the chef, he wears every hat imaginable at LSU leads by one. Just cleaning it up, cleaning it up here for LSU. I mean, on the defensive side, on offense, but shout out to Low Tech and Brian B of giving him both assists this game. LSU getting involved as well. They regain the lead. It's been pretty hectic so far in the series, and it continues to deliver as Missouri SAT try not to go on match point here, but they need to come up with something in the next three minutes if they want to tie up the game. By the way, quick breaking news uh, UT Dallas, I believe, knocked out Oregon. So Lots. the team that was up near the top all throughout league play and surely was supposed to clinch a spot in the national championship through the playoffs? No. They end up in the wild card and they go out Woo! even before lower finals. T-Bates going through on an empty net again as the physical play out of LSU is too much for the Miners. You know, T-Base was thinking about that time. Low Tech lost the 50 and it cost him a goal. He said, hold on, where's Bernie? Bernie, I got to win the challenge. I can hear him yelling right now. And T-Base wins that one. And he's he's got a trifecta of threes. Three saves, three goals, three shots. Tyler doing the work for LSU. But... They gotta maintain that lead. Two minutes, 20 seconds left here. Missouri s &T still have some time to get back into this game. All the way across this will go. Still only a two goal lead for LSU. Say only, because again, especially in a tournament like this, a lot of crazy things can happen. T-Bates with a big stop coming out of the corner. And what a win by Braun B. This forces Sugar all the way back. Bernie got the demolition, but that's just a free rotation for Braun B. Yeah, and I mean, even Sugar able to get a piece of that ball, but not able to bring it out. You see Low Tech, it plays a 50, takes some boost. Now there's no boost on the blue side. Sugar gets demo, gonna respawn back pretty low. But uh oh, T Bates moves a little far forward, and Sugar immediately on the ball. We know he doesn't have any boost until he gets in that corner. Now he's gonna try to cause some havoc while Missouri SG try to move upfield. Just a little bit wide. Bernie now. Oh, Ooh. what a fake challenge by T-Bates. <laughs> and then him. he got bumped. <laughs> T-Bates thought is like, well, you know what? I got you. And Bernie's like, yeah, I got this. Unfortunately, it hasn't done anything for SNT. All it has done is just delay the inevitable. T-Bates does it again. Puts it top corner. He's full for full. Okay, look at that beautiful shot from T-Bates. And Bernie's going to need a little bit more than a frustration bump after getting faked in order to stop this man. He scored all four goals for LSU. And with a minute left, this might have done, this might have closed out the game. There's the Tigers that look to put this series on match point. They've been stepping up. Everybody getting involved. You know, except there. So hey, anybody want to touch the ball? Or? Yeah, no. I, don't, I don't know what's going on with that one. 
I, I can I can hear Daz in the green room right now. It's like, yo, hit the ball when he's playing right his here. ranked games. I'm 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 right here. <laughs> Here's sugar. <laughs> I'm talking about a flashback, Daz. Jeez, get with the program. Here's low tech. You okay over there? I'm fine. I feel like you're having a rough day. Listen, you're the one that's talking about me while I'm in here. Okay? <laughs> you should know better not to play my ego up. <laughs> this goes deep to the back wall. It is only a matter of time now. LSU going to be on match point. Both these teams are going to have a real long wait, win or lose. But for LSU, they are one win away from having, well, a laundry list of things. A one-game advantage in the grand finals. A spot in the CRL National Championship just for getting to those grand finals. And a real good feeling having beaten this SNT squad that has given everybody they face so far a lot of trouble. Yeah, and, and you know, paying attention to this, right? Looking at the series overall here, Missouri SNT really did kind of fall flat here. Um, I, I give a lot of credit though to LSU. Some of the goals that they had were really nice, but also there were, there were a couple that maybe shouldn't have snuck in. I believe there were like a, a couple of bombs he makes through downfield, and that's it. He shoots from his own half, and it ends up going into uh, the Missouri S&T's net. So again, it seems as though they fell into that rotational trap here, and this is going to be a big game. I mean, they fall to the lower bracket. They're going to have to play UT Dallas, and we'll end up maybe seeing the result of that. That's our. I mean. That's a shocking result in itself, that the fact that they took out Oregon. But both teams kind of having that same result going into it. But let's not count them out the series just yet. LSU have one more game to go. We'll see whether or not they close out the series here on Wasteland Night. Yeah, UT Dallas and UT Arlington about to kick it off over on the B stream. Our friends at College Carball, you can watch that via the squad stream as well especially after this one wraps up, which it may at the end of this game on Wasteland. It is Bernie and Missouri SNT fighting to stay alive against LSU. Winner into the grand finals as that's blocked away. Now Sugar trying to keep one in front. We've seen SNT have these strong starts to games, but they haven't put a full five minute game together. Even that game that they won in the series, they fell apart for a little bit and let LSU back in before they finally close it out as Sugar's up there to stop Ron B. Now time able to play this one off to the side, but already some offense here as LSU's the team that opens up in the first minute with three shots. Save spread out from Missouri so far, but a lot of pressure from the Tigers, unable to really come up with anything and they're gonna have to start over. Missouri just kind of clears away the ball for the time being. Loose ball for Braun B. Just kind of a desperation shot more than anything. Time stopped it. Sugar followed. And then nobody went for this ball. And T. Bates will just casually take it out of the zone. Yeah, I think that was time last back. Wait, that net. Oh, low tech delay shot. You're a sneaky man, Logan. But I see exactly what you just did. Braun B plays this out. Watch low tech. Watch this. Oh, stop and then go. You can see the supersonic trail disappear as he caught the defense slipping for Missouri as a T and picks up the first goal of the game. Whoopsies. 319. That's the time that Missouri SNT has to find an answer or they will drop down to the lower bracket and have to face either UT Dallas or UT Arlington. Bernie couldn't get out of the zone. Time's got to go for boost. Sugar's got to go for ball. And then time just missed that on the sidewall. And time has just been all out of sorts through much of this series. I think the pressure of LSU is doing something to him. Braun B now. He's got a full tank. Low tech waiting underneath him to the left. And that's a big stop by Bernie. Sugar couldn't get there in time. It has to be time that throws this downfield. Looking for Sugar. But he just couldn't get a piece of low tech. Now low tech play downfield. T Bates goes up. Braun B went up as well, but look at that. T-Bates even gets a 50 there. So now Missouri s and though, they still are trying to pick up the ball, see what they can do, but they have to hold on to possession because, honestly, that's been a big factor overall in this matchup. T-Bates able to move down the field pretty much uncontested, gets in front of the goal line, and then next thing you know, you just see a level of stress that ensues upon the Missouri s and squad as they try to fix things from their own end. T-Bates... 
Looking to expand that lead, but now could be numbers the other way. Sugar follow-up didn't have anything behind it. And Low Tech was right there waiting. Now he's throwing one out to t -Bay. So great pass. Decent shot. Better save. But now Low Tech, boy, he was up before that ball even got to the corner. That's the teamwork of LSU. That's why they are a minute plus away from reaching the national championship. Ron B plays that there. T Bates looking for a follow up. And woo, that's a big dunk. That was almost in. Brian B with the misread and time will follow that one. He misread the bounce off the post. And times 50, he grabs that mid boost. He even grabbed the corner. Oh my, he was putting in a little bit of extra work. Still got to the ball before LSU figured out what was going on. And big time goal here for Missouri. Minute 22 left, and this game is still winnable for them. There is no boost pad that is not worth getting for time, and it worked out okay. We're all knotted up in game five. It's, again, it's a game that s &D has to win to prolong the series. Oh, but Bernie's gone right by this. T Bates tried to set up Ron B, and Sugar made one stop. Time had to worry about contact coming in. Now Bernie got this challenge. And he's going for the boost deal in the opposite wow. corner. Shot's going to be just wide on the near side. But now look at Braun B, challenged by Sugar. Low Tech also challenged oh and just a neutral 50-50 that ends up now in the hands of T-Bates. Missouri s t they are going for everything. If you guys yep. have ever played against a team of ball chasers, this is what it looks like. They're not giving any space to LSU right now. You can see anytime LSU want to get on the ball, there is someone for Missouri s t just in front of it, making it hard for them. It's a dangerous game to play, but it is effective when done right. t bait stole, looking for the top corner, won't be able to find it. And now time going to try to move downfield, gets it past one, but t bait's able to knock it into the corner. Yeah, that's not the touch t bait was looking for, though. He had that bounce up and away from him. And maybe a little fortunate SNT wasn't hyper aggressive there. Four seconds left. Missouri SNT. Time for the win with one second to go. And look at this. Sugar up before the ball that bounces off the back wall has it red. Defense shaking from LSU. Time gets an open net at the final seconds of the game. Look at the, look at the kickoff. The ball is still in the air. LSU, no, no one's going to be able to get there in time. Look at Missouri s t still battling back. You love to see it. What a win for SNT. Just battling and battling and battling. It looked like LSU on multiple occasions, especially from Braun B, was going to put this game and series out of reach. Not the case. SNT hung around. Two huge goals from time. It mentioned. Looked like he had been struggling at times, not in that game. He finally got it sorted out and came up big when his team needed him the most. That was, I mean, we saw Missouri s &T just start to speed up their level of play towards the end of the game. They just went, they were all over the place. LSU could not get a free touch on the ball after having most of the game with a lot of control. Next thing you know, Every touch they have on the ball, someone is in front of them. Someone's pre-jumping, and it ends up working out for Missouri s &T. They end up putting in so much extra work as a unit and honestly playing a lot of risky Rocket League. But hey, you can tell they're here to play. They force a game six, and we'll see how they fare. Bernie quickly out for this ball. Midfield boost, and he's on his way back, leaving time to challenge teammates. And instead, boy, Bernie still had to make a stop as Sugar went right at T-Bates instead. That was not a save Bernie was expecting to have to make. Now T-Bates going to slow everything down for LSU. These are the games where you would expect them to be the favorites, the games where they can play that kind of controlling game and try to slow everything down. I don't think LSU necessarily wants it to be a track meet as low tech denied by time. And he will get that by t -Bates. Sugar, can he get it down in front? No, it's on target instead. And Braun B arranging back makes the save. They're not out of the woods though, as LSU under fire again early in the game from s and T-Bates looking for Braun B there. A little, little bit of hesitation as he jumps off the ceiling for that one. 
He's trying to make sure he gets the right touch, but Missouri s and holding firm. They are not letting LSU even get in front of the box here as they have been all over them. T-Bates got a little bump there, and again, someone right on top of the ball here for Missouri s and Rotation has been lightning fast from them. All right, it has been a high-risk, high-reward game style from Missouri s and They haven't been burned much over the past couple of games, so to their benefit, I guess you'll take it. Sugar with time. Bernie waiting at midfield. Time shot blocked. Bernie will keep this in the zone. And he does still have Sugar downfield. His shot's going to be off the mark. Oh. It is loose in front. And time does it again. Comes up big here. Look at this. Sugar on that sidewall. Great redirect. Double commit from LSU once again in the net wide open for Missouri SNT. Oh boy. Another wild comeback brewing. Now it's Braun B. He at least got another touch on that, but I think he expected to have to go a little higher for that. Low Tech with a huge win, and LSU gets that goal right back. Boy, what a sloppy sequence from Bernie and SNT. Yeah, Bernie played. I mean, you talked about it earlier high risk, high reward. So much goes into him getting a good flick on the ball, and when it comes up empty, Man, that has to hurt if you're Missouri S&T. Now you just have to watch that one go into the net. Now, tied up ball game. They're looking for more goals, but LSU kind of settled here on the defense as, you know, this one's all tied up. We approach the halfway point of this one, and Missouri S&T did great on the opener. But now they're starting to lose a little bit of steam, and LSU kicking things in a high gear. D Bates will pop one over Bernie, but it's Sugar from the back. Time now. Oh, couldn't get by Braun B, but Sugar's still there. He'll throw one on target, and Low Tech has the stop. D Bates, another big win, and Time will shovel it off to the corner. Boy, Time all over this, too. <laughs> you mentioned it, Daz. There's not a challenge that is too tough for these guys to go for. Bernie's got a full tank of boost. He may have to turn on this. He does, and wins it cleanly deep to the LSU end. And now Bron B going to be big on him to kind of lead the charge here. Able to get past one, but Bron B, uh, no, I'm sorry, Bernie got a bump on low tech and tried to also set up a play for time. So, micro plays. Bernie, oh, he had the speed there. He had Bron B beat, but I think he overestimated his path into the ball. And a chance flies by for Missouri S&T. Bernie will put that one in front. Bron B with a clear out and Sugar will look to control it in mid. Yeah, time took two shots at T-Bates. Got him the second time coming out of the net, actually. It didn't result in anything for Missouri s &T. That midfield boost was not there for Bernie, but he turned anyways. Now Braun B, boost, and maybe ball. No, instead he's going to need a teammate, and it's Low Tech, who skies another one away. But no possession for LSU. Great pass from time. Bernie's shot denied by Low Tech. Boy, he had to have eyes all over the field and great field awareness to read where that pass was going. Oh, demo on Low Tech. I think Sugar was looking for Braun B. Low Tech is looking for the entire team of Missouri SNT as he was messing with Bernie in the net. But that one will be T base just trying to keep this in play. And LSU is managing the pace here for Missouri SNT very well. You can see that it looks like they're trapped in their own half as the Tigers are prowling. They're looking for another opportunity here as we approach 40 seconds left in gameplay. Ron B thought about it. T-Bay took the shot instead, and Sugar had to go up and meet Low Tech. Somebody's got to take charge for the Miners. It is Bernie. Now Sugar coming up to challenge Braun B. Throws one in front, but nobody else could charge the net. The one time that Missouri s and doesn't go all in, as they see now less than 30 seconds left in a tie game in game six. Got to have this. It's Sugar. Only teammates to beat. Low Tech trying to get back as well. And oh, Sugar no. forced it through. And look at this. Extra work here from Sugar. Gets on top of the ball. Teammates last back was not expecting the flip. You can see it. And he ends up assisting Sugar as it bounces off the post into the net. Ten seconds left. Missouri s and looks to send this series to seven. Sometimes it's the chef using Sugar. This time oh, Sugar wait. used the chef. But it's, it's low tech. tech that ties the game off the opening kickoff. And time. Thought he could get the 50 on Braun B. And low tech banked on it. 
Bruh B sets him up. Low tech knocks it down. And this series has a chance. It's, it's still up in the air, Stacks. Five seconds oh left my in goodness. regulation. Ball bounces out. The kickoff's dangerous. We know it is. It hits the ground. And we are in overtime. It's this map, man. It's this <laughs> map. This field. No way. Oh, Sugar got a demo and it threw him off the mark. Now oh, t bags off the respawn. Didn't oh, get there in time, goodness. but Low Tech did. And then Bernie whipped on the shot. Sugar's got to keep control and barely does. Oh, what a chaotic sequence. Almost spelled the end of this game for LSU. Now Sugar with another huge challenge. Uh -oh. And t bags can finally slow it down. Twirling through the air. He picked his spot and he missed. Oh, 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 oh. He was looking for a top corner air dribble. He took his time. He knew there was only one back. But now a lot of pressure coming out here on Missouri S&T. Braun B has teammates in mid, but he can't give him the ball. But watch out. Missouri S&T, everybody's on that right side as they try to push downfield once again. LSU are looking to spread things out. This one has been a very tight overtime where both teams have barely hung on in. Oh, Sugar with a wave dash to try and get onto this a little quicker. Thrown across for time. And now all the boost belongs to the Miners. Time has Bernie in front for the win! What? And we're going to game seven! Bernie pushes through LSU! You see Time with the setup, he just drops it off. And Bernie with the challenge, all confidence in the teammate. And like I said, Sass, this series is going to seven. Missouri S&T, keep on fighting. They went down in the series, 3-1. They haven't lost a game since. As LSU, they've come close to finishing, but they have not yet. And now it comes down to who's got the ice as we load up Champions Field. I just think all these Rocket team, Rocket League teams really like us, Daz. They seem to just play more and more games when we're here. Another seven-gamer, this time between the Missouri S&T Miners and the LSU Tigers. Hey, you know what? Both teams are going to have to wait a while anyways for their next opponent. So why not? Send us all the way to Champions Field. Here we go. Woo boy. Five minutes on the clock. One of these teams is booking their ticket into the national championship here. It'll be one of two in the Western Conference. Missouri S&T showed that they deserve to be here based on their performance today. Or at least they're trying to. They still got to get past the LSU Tigers. Time almost got the opening goal. Sugar tries to put that back down. Almost in, but T-Bates gets a solid touch to get the clear out. He'll try to slow things down as LSU have to control this Missouri S&T team that has been electric on the pitch. Missouri S&T has just come out of the gates firing in every single game in this series. LSU has had to weather the storm in this one. Looking to be no exception. Time flicking one on, and that's going to be T-Bates making one stop and trying to get this out of the zone. Two S&T defenders could not stop him, and Bernie had to take a difficult angle. Now, Ron oh. B throws one wide through the demolition by Sugar. Bernie slowing things down here, but look at that. Bron B very aggressive on the touch. LSU testing out the defense right now, but hold on, Missouri s &T showing some signs here of just confusion. Teammates, top corner! The Tigers score first in game seven. That is eight goals in the series from the chef, and many have been rebound kind of cleanup goals this time having to take charge, calling for the pass, getting it, and it's 1-0 LSU. Not a good look defensively for Missouri S&T, but still a lot of time to get that goal back and make up for it. Oh, oh what no a drop down! Way! No way time! That is incredible! Oh my goodness, how does he read this? He grabs the corner boost, he's up! Says you're too slow, LSU! Finds the best reader right we've seen all day! And Missouri S&T said they are not done yet. Three minutes and 37 seconds left in gameplay, and we are seeing some high-level Rocket League here in the wild card. It's going to make an executive decision right now. That has to be our top play at the end of the night. Good grief. Low tech. Throwing one downfield, and that's all he can do. No possession for LSU. Maybe there will be. Braun B. Stopped by Bernie. God, time. He has had an up and down series, but he has been mostly up for the second half of it. 
Big demolition. Opens it up for Bernie. Throwing one up there. Selfless play. Drop down for Sugar and he peeled off it. He thought low tech had the clear and he didn't want to get caught up too far. Yeah, I mean, as, as, as fast paced as this is going, you have to pay attention to the rotation here. Do you have someone behind you? Is it worth going for? Bernie takes a testing shot of the defense, trying to see if something will fall through. But right now, LSU have been set. They've been playing a lot of defense here, though. We're approaching the halfway point of game seven. They're looking to get a breakout play. But all the momentum has been going to Missouri SAT after that amazing goal for time. Bernie will put another shot on. But T Bates, easy save for him. Yeah, put his ball. Oh, oh, what no. a touch by Sugar for time again! Unbelievable, this one. The assist goes to Sugar, the bounce, but the follow-up threw off low tech and time believing in his teammates as Missouri s &T take the lead here. Still plenty of time for LSU to get back in, but with Missouri and the way they've been setting up this creative offense, it's gonna be tough for Louisiana State to find an answer. Six goals and five assists in this epic series out of time. T Bates through Sugar. Bernie got demoed on the backside by Low Tech. Braun B looking for Low Tech, not finding him as Sugar got there in time. Now time taking his time, and I think he's waiting for Sugar to take over and help him out. Loose in front, and time hammers it away. And Low Tech going for a risky challenge, his last man. The rest of the team hasn't gotten back yet, but T Bates did pick up that corner boost. So unless you have some gas in the tank, but that's an open look. And Again, a little bit too aggressive was T-Base. Low Tech coming in to save the day. LSU down by one. Have to get this series under control because all it takes is an insurance goal for Missouri as a team, and they could potentially run out the clock. Missouri s &T was facing relegation to the lower bracket. Then they got a super late goal in game five. Then all the heroics of game six, and they have an absolute banger of a goal out of time. And they almost got one ringing in from Bernie. And he can turn on this if he so chooses and stops T-Bates at the center line. Down to a minute now as LSU is the team. After having so many chances to close this series low out. Tech. And Low Tech comes through. Pass out from T-Bates. 56 seconds left on the clock. Look at the angle. There's no way That's anybody filthy. from Missouri s and is going to be able to touch that ball. And a big time goal. LSU Tigers have still brought themselves back into the game. And boy, oh boy, as much action as we have seen from Missouri s and it's still, there's still more work to do. Ron B will leave it for the chef looking for the lead. Oh. And he throws it in. The teammates putting him in the cook zone here. You can't give him that space. Once he realizes he has time, boom, top corner double, able to find that beautifully. And just like that, it's a two goal run within the final minute for LSU. Missouri s &T, they open this one up with some highlight plays, but now they're down. They're gonna need one here as Sugar tries, but 30 seconds left. They gotta get something off this drive. It's bouncing up in front. Sugar going to test LSU. Bernie may have a look. It's in. No. It's off the bar. No one able to follow it up. Bernie will finally get the tying goal with 20 seconds left on the clock. This is absolutely incredible. How does nobody get there? Low Tech didn't have the angle. All he had to do was just punch it up off the bar and it'll just pinch out. 20 seconds left. What else is next? Oh, All time man. running onto it, and he won the challenge. Awkward for Low Tech, and Bernie was waiting right underneath them. Now time. Oh, that's a good ball by T Bates, making sure he didn't play right back into him. Low Tech over one, but Sugar's right there. Bernie, no way. Absolutely no way. So he got it back to Sugar. I thought he was going for a shot. And how fitting. This epic saga ends in golden goal on Champions Field. Game seven overtime to see who's gonna book their ticket into the national championship between LSU and Missouri s and T-Bates to win! T-Bates does it for LSU! Eight seconds in overtime, he banks the shot that sends them through. 10 ball, corner pocket. T-Bates with his 10th goal of the series and a game winner.
right when it looked like Missouri SNT was going to erase a 3-1 series deficit. The chef says absolutely not. Oh my. And LSU will play in the grand finals tonight and also in the Thrustmaster CRL National Championship next month. What a finish. Tibbetts had a thousand points. He, a thousand. <laughs> he dropped a thousand points. <laughs> My goodness, that series was everything you could ever ask for, honestly. It, 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 there were some high moments and lows from both teams. Missouri SNT battled all the way through some fantastic goals. I still think time deserves that um, goal of the day from, oh, from looking at goodness. that redirect. That was fantastic. But yeah, still. It, yeah, well, of course, if you've if you've seen a game of Rocket League, you know, in the post game screen to get the replay uh, showing all the highlights yeah. from before. We just saw that goal from time. And it's early in the highlight package. Yes, because there was that much that went on during that game. That was absolutely incredible from start to finish. Like the series started, Daz, with, okay, LSU 4-1. All right, SNT, at least they pulled away late. Okay, a couple of games that are every best of seven you've ever seen. Nothing really special in those first few games. And then all of a sudden it got ramped up to 11 and then 12 and beyond. You know, it was, it was when we got Neo Tokyo. And me and Stax have casted, <laughs> I, me and Stax together have probably casted over uh, the past four days, I'd say maybe like five to seven best of seven matches. And a majority of them have gone to Neo Tokyo. And every almost every time it's just a lights out, uh, mm -hmm. lights out Rocket League action. It happened today on BTS. We saw we got a game seven based off of that. Uh, and, and it happened here. It happened even in the regionals. It was just so much going on. And I think we have some actual like some highlights uh are we are we looking at those now i uh, you know i think we can just kind of let those throw us to the break because we can okay. take about a 10 minute break and look at <laughs> all the highlights from that series so why don't we do that and when we come back we'll have the lower bracket finals as missouri snt will keep on battling either the winner between ut dallas and ut arlington the crl wild card rolls on soon tm <laughs> 